In the game beyond retaining wall construction, uh, step number one, it is uh, to know the tools and equipment, even materials that we will be using. So, here we are going to see tools, materials and equipment, starting by PPE or personal protective equipment. So, here we are having hand gloves. So, the hand gloves, they are used to protect the, the hands because we are going to work uh, with steels, with metals and some other dangerous uh, materials, so we need to wear personal protective equipment as uh, if you need the hand gloves. Uh, because we'll be working also with metals uh, and the stones and the dressing stones sometimes, so we need to, uh, to wear the helmet. So the helmet will be used to protect the head from any falling object. And we need also to have strong boots because uh, we'll walk over stones. We need also to have a jacket. So after we will use some tools, tools that we'll be using. Here we have compacting rods. So this will be used in a compaction. Of course, manual, manual compaction. Uh, we have also a pick. This one will be used to, to excavate in a strong soil. We have who? This one will be used to excavate uh, the soil which is somehow soft. We have shovel, which we will be using to take materials and place them anywhere. We have club hammer. This club hammer will be used to dress stones. We have spirit level. This spirit level will be used to check verticality and the horizontality of the structure. Here we have fixing rod. This fix fixing rod, they will be used to attach the gabion basket. Here we have pincers. These pincers will be used uh, to cut, to fix and cut wires. Here also uh, we have, this is also, it is a pincer or plier. Uh, it, it is called um, long nozzle plier. It will be used to fasten, fasten the ties. Okay, this uh, well the tools, uh, but we have also a wheelbarrow. Uh, we are moving in the materials. For materials, we have stones. These are stones. We have gabion baskets. This is gabion basket. We have galvanized wires. We have binding wires. We have water. We have grafos. These are grafos. Uh, we need also to have fuel. It is filled in a compacting equipment and even the engine oil. Uh, these are the materials uh, that we will use. We have also equipment. So here we have smooth wheel roller comp compactor. Smooth wheel roller compactor will be used in a compaction of a subgrade. Step number two, it is to do compaction so that you may get a strong subgrade. Uh, because uh, one meter cubed of uh, gabion uh, retaining wall, it is more than two tons. So it means we need to have uh, a strong base or strong subgrade. So in a compaction, we need compacting equipment. Uh, here, this one, I have said that is called um, wheel roller, smooth wheel roller compactor. So we are going to use it. So this is smooth wheel roller compactor. Uh, this uh, compactor, it is having uh, some essential parts. Uh, part number one, it is ignition. The ignition, it is here on this side. Uh, we have gear. This is gear. Uh, we have also accelerator. This is accelerator. 
Uh, we have where to fill the fuel. We have also uh, where uh, to check the, this is to check the uh, engine oil and also to put the water in a compaction while we are compacting. And then, in order to use uh, our machine, you need to start it and you let it, uh, or you let the, the engine oil to access uh, all the parts of, of our engine. You let it about two minutes. And then we fill water because when we are compacting, we need to put water so that uh, the cohesion will be easy. Okay, now water is there. So now we need to level, to level the subgrade. So here it means uh, you put layer of 20 centimeters of the soil and then you compact. Put another layer of 20 centimeters and the of thickness and then you compact. So here we are going to start compacting first layer. So here on my gear here I'm in a neutral. Going this, uh, I'm going forward. Turning this way, I'm going backward. When I'm compacting, I'm using accelerator. So if uh, I accelerate much, so it means here I'm vibrating, okay? And then here I'm having water tap. This, this valve, it is uh, for water. So if I need to put water where I'm compacting, so I have to use the, the valve. <laughs> I'll put the second layer.
Now we start a last, uh, a last uh, step of compaction. So it means uh, it is the last time of compaction. Okay, thank you. Compaction is over. Now we may start a third step of unfolding and assembling of gabion basket. So here we have our gabion basket. We can unfold it and assemble. In this video, I'm going to be with my friend Joel. He's coming to help me. Yeah, to unfold. So here we need to make our box. So by unfolding, you need to make all the side stands. So this is a middle support, huh? This is a middle supporter. This is side side. Here also we have another side. This one. So also it needs to go up so that I can make my box to here do this to us like this. So you need to do this so that it can hold. Here also it is the same. So it holds. Same.
can fix it. Here it is fixed. Take binding wire. Then I bound. Okay, now I proceed in fixing the sides. So here we have two boxes. Uh, this box is one meter square. This one also it is one meter square. So it is the reason why I'm going to measure one meter so that I put this support, middle support. So here it is here, here one meter. Yeah, one meter is here, so I move this and I fix it here. And then I'm going to fix by using galvanized wire. First of all, I cut about 20 centimeters. And then I fix. Use pencil or plier to fix family. Okay, on the top also, I measure one meter. It is here on this point. Here also, I fix. So I start on the on the top. I fix. And then I'm going to lower uh, this galvanized wire here on in the in the corner. That was first method uh, of fixing uh, where you may take a long galvanized wire and then you lower it in the corner. The second method, it is where you may cut a small portion, like 20 centimeters. And then, here we are having vertical joint. Here, 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 and then uh, we fix okay we fix this piece along
Okay, we are going to load it over this joint. So this one is the, is the easier and fastest method. Okay, you load it, not, uh, not lower than three. This one, two, three. Hmm. Let's see here. 